Yeah. After a long absence, about four weeks, uh, we're back with BTS blogs. Uh, there's been a huge backlog of work that I have to sort of clear off. Uh, I'm getting through it bit by bit to get the uh, studios working again. We got a new camera, so yay for the new camera. Uh, and this will bring us up to a full 720p for all the web series. Every web series now, we're going to be up to full 720p. Uh, the reason why we're not going to 1080p is for this particular reason. Right now, uh, the way um, the cable companies are, are metering the internet, it would be too much of a burden, too much of an overhead to put 1080p out there. This in terms of the rendering time, in terms of the uh, 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 upload times, and even the download times, because now uh, m many of the uh, internet service providers, these major cable companies and these other telcos and so on and so forth, the people who uh, run the backbone are starting to throttle, they're starting to slow down the internet, so uh, <laughs> customers have to pay for extra goodies and stuff like that. So uh, right now, 720p is good, it gives you good enough uh, for the um, the uh, the web series that we're producing now, that's what on Cyborg Alpha TV. Cyborg Alpha TV is going to be dedicated to the um, the uh, season zero. Season zero is normally hidden from most people. Uh, like if you're if you're a fan of any TV show out there, uh, more often than not a pilot is shot, and then you have a year worth of development uh, after the pilot shot, more or less, uh, to see whether or not the show is good enough. Uh, what you're, that's sort of sort of what we call season zero. So season zero occurs before season one. It's the sort of the test bed to see if the series is going to go move forward, uh, and normally it's done out of sight, out of mind. Uh, but here on, on on Cyborg Alpha TV and Physics TV, uh, because Cyborg Alpha TV is always the behind the scenes stuff, we're actually going to work on showing you uh, the season zero. So that's what you're seeing now. You're seeing the season zeros uh, coming out. Uh, still in development, still having to work out some of the kinks, the problems, uh, some of the technical issues that we may, may run into. Uh, all these different things are being worked out now on uh, Cyborg Alpha TV. Eventually, when we get to, to, uh, to uh, Season 1, we will be uh, uh, on uh, Physics TV. Uh, so Season 1 and everything beyond that will be on Physics TV. Season 0 will always be on Cyborg, Cyborg Alpha TV. So we are moving into the IPT environment. We're moving into an uh, open IPTV. What this means is all the shows are copyright free. They're based on free speech so that you can use the show. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, where you are in the world. There's no um, rights issues to block you from particular places or anything like that. It's always open and free. So, and you'll see this, you'll see uh, the free speech license uh, coupled with the Creative Commons. Creative Commons is the one that they show there for the for the YouTube license. There isn't a free speech license right now, so basically it's Creative Commons, and then we use free speech from there. So you'll see the description in the down below bar about the free speech license. So that's the way you can sort of uh, get gauge on how uh, on, on what the licensing is. And so we're actually working on, uh, uh, in addition to uh, bringing out the uh, web series uh, Beauty and the Geek, which is in season zero. We're working on two more uh, web series. That's one is called uh, Wandering, and it's basically a nature show, just the way you have, uh, let's say, nature or uh, the work do done by um, David Attenborough. Uh, you know the different uh, 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 photographers and filmographers who go out and do these uh, these nature shows and these na nature documentaries. Most of these people are either evolutionary biologists, they're biologists, or chemists at the at the most. Uh, this is actually going to be done. This is what's called wandering. Uh, it's going to be uh, based from a physicist point of view. That's particularly me, uh, and it's going to look at nature again to see, from the perspective of the random walk, uh, to see uh, apply a lot of the observational methods in physics. Will then be applied to uh, all the other areas of science. In other words, if physics is the pinnacle of all science and quantum physics is that pinnacle, then uh, we should be able to apply quantum physics throughout uh, all the sciences. So we're going to see how that works out, and then we'll go from there. Uh, the other series is called The uh, Kitchen Diner. It brings uh, 
the diner back into the kitchen. It's sort of like a small operational diner. Uh, it will serve three or four different people. Uh, but actually, it, it's sort of it, it's a look into the restaurant series. It's, it's a look into the restaurant lifestyle, how you would develop menus, how you would design menus, uh, and things like that. It's just a, sort of a fun series on 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 on, um, on cooking. But it will eventually go into the history of food, which will travel along the Silk Road and uh, the Silk Road and into the Middle East and to what I call Pan Asian culture. Pan Asian culture stretches all the way from the Middle East on the western tip of it, all the way into China, into uh, to the furthest reaches of China on the eastern side, on on, on the eastern side, or, or say if you want to go as far east if you want to, you can even get into the Polynesian culture, which are Pan Asian. So uh, that's where that's going to come in from. And uh, other than that, uh, BTS hopefully is back. And I'll be trying to get to the uh, video comments sometime later today. All right, take it easy.